Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And this is the all new Lego Ideas Fender Stratocaster complete with a Princeton Reverb amp. This carries model number 21329 and comes with 1,074 pieces. More on those pieces in just a moment. In total, this took about five or so hours to complete at a leisurely pace. Let's start off with some of the basics of this amazing model. First is the stand that your Fender Strat will rest on. This stand is pretty ingenious. It very well mimics a classic guitar stand. There are little rubberized feet there on the inside to help your guitar from sliding around and it can collapse and fold up. So if you wanna move this out of the way, you have something else or another way you'd prefer to display it, or if you just appreciate the accuracy of that model, it is very cool to see the adjustable stand come with it. Now, this technically is two models in one. You can choose either this red version or the black version. But of course, I had to go with the iconic Fiesta Red. Though, though I don't think this is the actual Fiesta Red color, just standard red Lego brick, it still just looks amazing. Now, that is one of the downsides to this model is those it does carry that piece count above a thousand. Many of those pieces are going towards the second body of the guitar, that black color. So you can kind of choose between them, but it just kind of adds to your count. There's also a ton of grill pieces, I believe over 80 grill pieces. So that too is contributing to the slightly higher piece count. So I feel like value wise per piece, it's a little on the low side, but otherwise this has just been an amazing model. Let's look at a few of the details here. Here at the head, you can see we have a custom Lego brick with the Fender uh, word mark there. You can see we have a guitar pick hidden below all of our strings. As we rotate it around, you can see on the back of the head, there are all the tuning keys that go down and you can twist those. They're not going to tune anything, but you can twist them around. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces. I've never seen anything like this, which is this Lego Fender strap. It is very cool. I just love the look of this. It is amazing. So I am so excited about that custom piece here. Just overall, a lot of custom pieces in general here. You can see behind the strings, we have all of the pickups that are located there. Those are all custom pieces. And going down from the neck, we have all the custom frets along the fingerboard. Those two are custom pieces. Paired with this guitar is the 65 Princeton Reverb Amp, which I was even more blown away with than the Stratocaster itself. There is a foot control, some pedals that you can attach. Uh, they connect to the rear of the amp, just as they would. Along the front, you have several knobs. Each of these knobs can be turned. They don't point or do anything, but they can be turned. You have the Fender logo there on the front, as well as the Princeton Reverb amp logo, and that jewel light there, which is just very cool looking. If we take off the strap top, actually pulling the strap, you can see the internals, all of the electronics and components and wiring that would go into this amp. And for comparison's sake, here is what an actual Princeton Reverb amp would look like. And you can see the comparisons are so close from the top, the front, everything. Even the back and the insides of this amp are exquisite. There's so much attention to detail here. You can see serial numbers along the top, all the wiring going in there to the actual speaker itself. Along the bottom, we've tucked away some additional guitar picks. Also located back here, you can see the plus and minus connecting to the bottom, which I'm not sure this is another coil, but you can see it behind this frosted glass there. You can barely see the coil that is hidden beneath. There's just so much detail. Like you literally have to remove those panels to be able to see into there through that glass. And if we remove the top panel, you can see all of our tubes and capacitors going through the top. So there's just so many little detailed bits about this amp that I love so much. It was really cool. As I was building it, again, one more comparison between the real thing uh, and what we built here, more real shots of a Princeton Reverb amp. As I was originally building this, I was disappointed because I felt like I went through the guitar too quickly and like, oh, this is smaller than I thought and it was really fast to get through. But then once I got to the amp and got the entire piece together, I, I loved it. And you even get this amazing Fender Lego sticker included here. It's a $100 set, $99, and I think this is worth it. For anyone out there who loves guitars, music, and classic rock, this is a wonderful piece made for the adult collection. It has an 18 plus tag. It's not like it's particularly difficult to build, 
the strings are a little fidgety and kind of hard to get in place and get tight. That's the, maybe the most difficult part of this build, but it's just overall such an amazing looking model. I want to hear what all of you think. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Would you consider picking this one up and what other guitars would you perhaps like to see?